So in this video, I want to talk about Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian season two chances. And I know this is a fairly early video for the anime itself, but I wanted to weigh up a couple of things for people to understand when it comes to the anime and the line novels. Because of course, the questions I always get asked in a lot of these videos is, well, where do I read from when finishing the anime? And you could say, well, how are you able to give that answer so early on? Very simple. I've read the light novels up to volume 4 and I'm starting 4.5 very soon. So there is a side story volume. So I'll get into that. So currently, as of right now, there are eight volumes out of the main story with one side story volume as of recording this video because in eight days there will be a new volume in the Japanese release. So there is volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, then there's 4.5, and then 5 through 6. Volume 9 is coming out on the 30th of August of 2024 for the Japanese release, and the English release, volume 5, just came out on August the 20th, which was a couple of days ago for me, and volume 6 will come out on December the 10th of 2024. Then you got to ask yourself the question of what was covered from the anime. Well, based on the pacing of the anime, and unless this changes, it's looking like three volumes for the whole season. Because it's 12 episodes, they're doing about four episodes per volume. That's how the pacing's been for both volumes one and two for the adaptation. So I would assume volume three will be the final volume they will work with. So there would be enough material, even if they didn't cover 4.5, which they could easily if they wanted to, but let's just say hypothetically they didn't, they could easily make a second season. Then you look at the fact that the light novels are releasing around two to three volumes a year. So the first volume came out in February of 2021. In 2021, there were three volume releases, February, July, December. Then volumes four, five, and six, uh, four, sorry, four, four point five and five. I jumped over a number there because I was going through. So four, four point five and five <laughs> all came out in 2022. Then six and seven came out in 2023 and eight and nine come out this year, which is 2024. So it could have slowed down a little bit. And even if it does slow down and only two volumes come out per year, if season two was to be announced, whether it's announced at the final episode or a month or six months afterwards, you're going to be waiting at least around a year and a half to two years after its announcement. Because generally an announcement will happen, you wait about a year, then you get a release date, and then within that six month period, you then get it out. Sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. It's always a fluctuation, but it's never shorter than a year unless it's a very much already planned type of thing. There are some animes where it's like, oh, they do season one and they announce it like right afterwards and they're like, yep, it's coming out in three months. That's because that was all pre-planned ahead. And I've heard nothing about this getting two seasons back to back or with a month break or anything like, or three months break. None of that kind of stuff. I don't think they will because I feel like a lot of effort's gone into this, and I just feel like, I don't know. There's just something in my gut that's just like, yeah, this is just going to be a single core season. They won't do another season for a bit, which by a bit, I mean a year and a half, give or take. And so that's what I think will happen. If you wait around two years or a year and a half, you're at least going to have another three to four volumes out if they keep that pace up. So as long as they're staying fairly far ahead of the source material, well, the source material is staying ahead of the anime, then I think things will be fine, and I do think a season two chance is very much doable. It's not guaranteed, but I definitely think it is doable. Now, I know some people say, oh, well, it doesn't matter how how close the anime gets to the light novels. No, it does, because the primary reason for an anime is to sell the source material. So they want to make sure that the light novels, in this case, are much more further ahead than the anime, so that, that when anime fans watch the anime and they go, oh, I want to know more about the story, they go to the light novels and they have plenty to work with. They want to sell as many volumes as possible. So making sure there's ample amount of volumes to sell is fundamentally important so they and also it's just important so that there's flexibility or flex room when it comes to the story so that if they do decide to adapt four volumes instead of three volumes they have that flexibility so again it's always important to keep the 
source material ahead of the anime adaptation. And being that the pacing of this, being that the scheduling, I definitely think that is one of those things. So I do think there is a solid chance of a season two, but I don't think it's guaranteed. Because again, as I stated, a lot of the time, some of these animes are primarily used as source material sellers. It can still be a source material seller and get another season, but sometimes they only want to invest in that single season, sell the source, and then move on. So I do think it's a bit of a coin flip. It could get announced on the final episode. It could get announced three, six months later. It could get announced two years later after its initial airing. But I've heard no legitimate information from any solid source that indicates that we have got a guaranteed season two. It's just right now, I'm just going based on speculation and looking at the information presented in front of me. So again, love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you, what do you think of Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian? And if you do want light novel reviews on it, you can go to the description of this video, go to my second channel, my analysis channel, and check out my light novel analysis reviews and character breakdowns on Alia sometimes her hides her feelings in Russian. Or, for some of us, we like to refer to as Yuki does not hide her feelings in Japanese. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.